Hello and welcome to another card opening video. Today I'm going to open the October 2021 Jabs Family subscription box. Um, I've actually had this box for like a week to 10 days, but I just haven't had a chance to uh, get around to making a video until now. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to ask that if you enjoy uh, my channel, please like the videos and subscribe to my channel. It really does help in uh, going a long ways to growing the channel. So now let's get started. And as in previous months, I've already cut the tape on this to make it a little easier to open the box, but I haven't, uh, this is the first time I'm getting into it. Looks like we got some newspaper this time instead of the packing peanuts. And I actually know what the blaster box is going to be in here because we were given the option of a few choices. And I chose a blaster box of a set that I have never opened before. So here's the October 2021. You get four packs of newer cards, one blaster box of cards. And it says uh, the patrons were given a choice of five different blaster boxes this month. And so... I chose uh, 2021 Topps Gypsy Queen, and we'll talk more about that when I get to the box. So there's the blaster box, and let's see what packs we have this month. Uh, we have a hobby pack, you see the H of 2021 Topps Series 2. Uh, we see another hobby pack of 2021 Topps Pro Debut, that's a new one. Uh, this is a Topps Chrome pack. I don't see the H on it, so that looks like it's a retail pack. And then we have a hobby pack of 2021 Allen and Ginter. So that's great. Three of the four packs are hobby packs. So maybe we'll have a chance to maybe we'll have a chance to get a hit um, in one of these boxes or one of these packs. Um, just kind of lay lay the packs out to show what we have this month. Um, so let's just start opening. Uh, we'll start with uh, 2021 Series 2. I've opened uh, 2021 uh, tops on videos before, and I'm going to, as always, I will have trouble reading the names because they're so small in the design. But here we go. We have a Trey Mancini, a Joe Musgrove, Christian Walker, Ramon Liriano, Jonathan VR, a rookie card of Shane McClanahan, a rookie card of Ha Sang Kim, uh, Johan Ramirez, Luis Diaz rookie card. This is a nice one, a 1986 design rookie card of Jake Cronenworth. I'll set that one aside for now. One of the better cards. Dakota Hudson, Christian Vasquez. Austin Nola, and this one ends with Mark Melanson. So that's the first pack down. Uh, let's go to the Topps Chrome. This is just a retail pack, and there's only four cards in here, but it's Chrome. They're always nice. So let's see what we have. Ozzy Albies. Johan Mancata. Keston Hira with the Brewers. Hopefully he can turn things around next year. And the 1986 design of Pete Alonzo. So that's our Chrome pack. Next, let's go to the Allen and Ginter. Now, I've never opened any Allen and Ginter product in the past either. Um, this is based on like an old... Uh, old style, old time set back from like the 1800s from like a tobacco company, I believe. This and actually Gypsy Queen is also. Uh, but Allen and Ginter will also have, along with uh, baseball players, they'll have like celebrities, uh, cards for celebrities, uh, pop culture stuff, uh, just kind of some weird items in here sometimes. So let's see what we get here. Again, this is the first Allen and Ginter pack I've ever opened. So we start, uh, only has the 
The last name on the cards is so, um, I'll show you the back. This is Jesus Luzardo. And it shows, so, so that's what the back looks like. Um, Victor Robles, here's a Christian Yelich. So I'm always liking to get Christian Yelich cards. Uh, here is one of these, I'm not sure who this is. Um, that's Daniel Kim. Um, he's from the KB, when the, during the pandemic, uh, ESPN carried the Korean Baseball League when uh, there was no Major League Baseball being played. And uh, he was, uh, Daniel Kim was one of the experts on the Korean Baseball League. So that's what, who he is. Uh, we have a Kyle Schwarber, Todd Helton. We have a little tiny card of uh, uh, JT Brubaker. And we have an historical hits, uh, Salvador Perez, September 30th, 2004, um, where Salvador Perez had the game winning hit in the wild card game. So, so my first pack of Allen and Ginter is in the books. Now we have a hobby pack of 2021 Pro Debut. This is a set that shows uh, prospects. Um, like on the main uh, flagship set design. So these will be prospects, but they will be, they won't have, they'll be the same design as you see for the normal uh, 2021 top set. Um, also, there's a pretty good chance for an autograph in here. If I remember from watching uh, videos, I believe each hobby box had four autographs per box in like in 24 packs. So we have a one in six chance of having an autograph in this pack. So, let's see what we can get. So here, as you see the design, um, it's got like the same design as the 2021 Topps flagship, but it has a little pro debut logo, and it just shows their minor league team. Nick Matan, Simon, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, Nolan Jones, Riley Green Power, Alfonso Rivas, Aaron Sabato. He's one of the better prospects for the Twins. He was a number 27 draft pick, and then these draft pick cards are in, like, I believe this is the 1992 Tops design. Um, so, and then Kevin Alcantara and Jared Jones, the number 44 draft pick. So unfortunately, we didn't get an autograph in there. I was hoping that there might be an autograph. Uh, but that's the way it goes sometimes. So lastly, we will do the Gypsy Queen blaster box. Now, like I said, Gypsy Queen, uh, just like Allen and Ginter, it's a set that Topps revived. It's based on an old uh, Gypsy Queen set that was put out by tobacco companies, I think, back in the 1800s. So it has kind of an old-style design to it and a, and a look. Um, so we'll open this up. I forgot my box cutter, so I'm going to have to use or lost it, so I'm going to have to use the scissors. And before we open it up, I'll kind of show, give a tour of the box. It includes one exclusive green parallel card per pack. There's seven packs per box and seven cards per pack. So there's 49 cards in here. So if we get seven, we should get seven green parallels. Uh, these are the, these are the odds. They didn't come in very clearly there on my camera. But I guess that's all there is to really show on the box. Oops, opening the wrong side here. And there's the packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs. 
just like we expect. And again, these are the first Gypsy Queen products I've ever opened, even though it's been around for maybe a decade, I think. Never opened one before, and they're not easy to open, apparently. So here's the design of the Gypsy Queen. You can see it kind of has that old, old style look and feel. And we start out with an Alex Bregman. And I'll show you, show you the back of this one. Um, it just has a little fact about the player. 10 of Bregman's 11 postseason home runs of uh, come with pitchers who have made an all-star game. So it just has a little factoid on the back about the player. Um, Edwin Diaz, Nico Horner, Carlos Carrasco, and oh, this is a nice one. We got a Bo Bichette, the green parallel Bo Bichette. I'll set that one aside. Uh, we have a little uh, small card of Chris Bryant and an Eric Hosmer. Second pack. Boy, these packs do not open very well. Start with an Evan White, Jose Altuve, Karinchak, Walker Bueller, uh, JT Real Muto is the green parallel here, Anthony Rendon, and Miguel Sano. Third pack. I believe that's uh, Jake Jake Woodford, uh, Sixto Sanchez, John Lester, Kevin Newman. That's uh, Estevan Floreal is the green parallel. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Colby Whitley. Not sure on all the first names because they just show the initial. And then Nick Madrigal ends things with that pack. Oh, we'll do our fourth pack. And I am really having a hard time opening these packs for some reason. Jesus Aguilar, former Brewer favorite. Will Myers. That's uh, Luis Garcia. Tyler Stevenson. And Rafael Marchan is the green parallel. That's a rookie card. So is the Floreal, actually. Dylan Bundy. Oh, and here's a nice one, Corbin Burns. So as a Brewer fan, I like that one. I'm going to set that aside on the screen. Good chance that Corbin Burns will win the Cy Young Award this year in the National League. We'll find out uh, soon. But he has a very good chance. And again, geez. Might need scissors or something to open these. I don't know why they. That pack. Well, I can't get this open. There we go. That pack was very stubborn. They all have been. This pack starts with Carlos Santana, Elvis Andrews, Austin Hayes. Nick Solak. We have a green parallel of Eduardo Escobar with the Diamondbacks, and then he was traded to the Brewers. Let's set those aside. Randy Arozarena. It's a good card there. And Mookie Betts. We have two packs to go. Hopefully I can get them open. And a Christian Yelich, which I'm going to set aside. I forgot to set aside the Yelich. I forgot to set aside the Yelich from the Allen and Ginter. I'm going to do that too. And Nolan Arenado, and I actually see a, another different. I see a purple coming up. So that's interesting. Uh, here's Dallas Keuchel. Oh, we have a Ryan Braun. Uh, Ryan Braun purple 
And that is numbered out of, it's 113 out of 250. So that's a really good card for myself as a Brewer fan. So I'll set that up here kind of by my Brewer collection here. So it's a purple parallel out of 250. Uh, this is Albert Abreu, another, a rookie card. Justin Turner and Michael Brantley. And we have one more pack to go. That one opened a little easier. Nick Castellanos, G-Man Choi, Bryce Harper. Uh, here's a Juan Soto, uh, looks like a Juan's card. Let's look at the back of this. It's a, oh, a tarot of the diamond, it says. So that's a, that's an insert, uh, Juan Soto. So that's a, that's a very nice one. Here's a green of Aldoberto Mondesi, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. These might win the American League MVP, although I think probably Otani will win it. And then Wilson Ramos is the last card. So here's our here's our cards that I set aside. I just dropped one, <laughs> uh, but the green cards, the green parallels are Mondesi, Abreu, Escobar, Marichan, Floreal, Real Muto, and Bo Bichette. Uh, the Bichette might be the best of those parallels. Um, and then we have my little Brewer collection uh, for Brewer fans. We got the Corbin Burns, two Christian Yelich, and uh, the Ryan Braun Purple out of 250. We have the Tarot of the Diamond, Juan Soto, and a Vladimir Guerrero Jr., along with the Cronenworth uh, rookie card of the 1986 design. So that's it for the Jabs Family uh, subscription box for October. Um, if you like the like what you see, or uh, please uh, like the video. If you have any comments, let me know what you think in the comments below the video. I look forward to reading anything that you have to say. So until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.